Fish on! Woo! Fish on! This has got to be a king right here. Woo! <laughs> First one of the year. This one's a thunder right here. That took a little while longer, but I got him, man. I got some dinner. Samantha, we got dinner. What's up everybody? Okay, so I'm preparing to go on the first day of offshore kayak fishing. I'm preparing all my junk to get like ready to go. I got my, my rod right here, which has, still has the same duster rig on it from last year. If this thing will focus, can you see it? There it goes. You can see it now. Okay, so I haven't changed this thing out since last year. I gotta throw some trusty WD-40 on the Hobie over here. Why? Because the pedal drive system does not really want to click and doesn't want to click in place anymore. I'm basically putting more hooks in here. Everything goes in here. Got the paddle, getting it all laid out. Rock and roll. Okay, I know y'all gonna cringe over that, but you know what? Hey, I've been using WD for a long time. Things still rock and rolling. Now I'm gonna take this bad boy. I'm gonna load it on that there truck, and we're gonna roll out to the beach. Water's popping. It's a little churny. Outback will handle that just fine. Big waves, big fish. Gotta have some turbulence out there. Get out there, pocket full of cigs, and just see what happens. Might turn a ladyfish into a shark. We'll see how it goes. My normal spot is way too many people parked in the parking lot. It's like right over there. So I had to pull up and around, shorter pull than parking in my regular spot where I had to pull down this way and then go this way. Now I can just go this way. So a lot of people give me a lot of flack about why I don't have beach wheels. Well, the reason why I don't have beach wheels is just like one more thing to carry in here to go all the way down there and then come all the way back. And you say, well, why don't I just put them in the back of the kayak? Well, if you've been dumped in the surf as many times as I have, I don't want another pair of wheels behind my head to hit me in the head. So I said, no more to wheels. I just want to carry, I just want to get it down there simply, and then just, I mean, find the shortest spot on the beach to where you don't have as much luck. Well, So if you've been watching this channel a while, this is the same reel I submerged completely underwater years ago. Semi truck break. Completely submerged and it's doing just fine. And I've sprayed it with WD-40 multiple times, three years, pin fierce too, still catching fish. Still doing its thing, guys. Also, I switched the safari hat because it's gonna get physical. I really don't have a plan today Usually I have a plan, but the more I fish, I really don't have a plan. I just enjoy kind of being out here, so I really don't bring a lot. Usually a couple baits, a couple sets of hooks, a couple lures. Today I got some cigar minnows and a gotcha plug. I think I got a spoon in my box somewhere and some wire leaders and that's it. That's my whole plan. Kind of like when it's windy though, as long as it's not too windy to pedal. Kind of stirs up the bait fish, gets the big fish going. It's a big glass of America right there. Already seen some lady fish. That was the first launch of the season. Not the most graceful ever, but I think I might have pulled a muscle. Oh, lady fish, I'll see you in a second. Good. Oh, there he is. Yeah, that was easy. All right, now jump. Jump like a tarpon. There he is. <laughs> These things have got super soft mouths, so you gotta be easy with them. Light drag.
Now these things go by ladyfish, skipjack, poor man's tarpon. I think they call them poor man's tarpon. They call them all kinds of names. Awesome shark bait. And I think I'm going to try to see if I can get this guy and pit him versus shark later today. Pretty pumped. First cast. Well, it was really second, third. Well, it doesn't matter. Remo, there he is. Pretty good size. One of the most fun fish to catch on the beach, in my opinion. Fight, awesome. They hit everything, and you can catch a ton of them. And they're not scarce at all. I've been circling out here for about an hour. Still on my first bait. I think my bait's a little old. It's reused and recycled. I didn't use them all last time. I ain't trying to go buy another $5 pack of cigar minnows to reuse them again. Probably should have tried to catch some bait, but you know, got old faithful over here. Just running some lines. I did see something big blow up a ago. This bait looks a lot better. It doesn't look as wrinkly. Not great, but not bad. Don't. Fish on! Woo! Fish on! This has got to be a king right here. Fish on! Woo! <laughs> First one of the year. This one's a thunder right here. Woo! <laughs> this is a burner right here, baby. Sometimes you gotta give them a little extra cook set and make sure you got it. Also, my wire is pretty old and brittle, so I don't wanna put too much thunder on him. There he is. Nice one. Sometimes these old old cigar minnows will still work, you know what I mean? Got him. First rule never put them in front ways. Whew. It's a good one right there. He's not a huge one, but he's not a little one. Fought really hard though. Some of these guys fight harder than others. I have my drag reel loose because I didn't want, like this is old wire, it's from last year. And I literally, this is the same like leader setup you saw me catch the fish with last year. Same trouble hooks, wire's kind of kinky, but uh, you don't want to like put too much pressure on 40 pound wire when it's a little old and kinky and rusty. Well, it took a little while longer, but I got him, man. I got some dinner. Samantha, we got dinner. My head in, and I think I might throw a ladyfish out, see if I can get a shark to bite. Didn't really bring my, uh, my cooler for the bow because usually in the afternoons you don't quite need it as much. I'm afraid if I stay out here, I'm, he might get a little crusty. So I think I'm gonna beach it and go put him up at the truck. I don't know, because it's hard to like fish with blood all over the place and a king mackerel on the front end. It gets a little front heavy. Especially if you get another one and it gets front heavy. Especially if it's a big one. Headed back out. I'll see if I can get the the beach slam king and a shark. I just I just came up with that, but sounded like a good one. Here we go. I got my lay fish cut up. I got a big like six ox. <laughs> got me a big like six ox hook. I'm about to make it rain. Looking for an apex. So my plan is, I'm out here past the second sandbar, and I'm gonna drag this skipjack head around. See what wants to get physical. A little frisky. Looking for a black tip. Shouldn't be too hard. Sometimes it's harder than others. I got fresh bait. It's that time of day, it's like 4.35, and I just need one to grab it. My king hit pretty fast, so this windy, turbulent water, it's not rough, it's not smooth, it's turbulent, kind of bumpy, is, uh, seems like it's got them biting, might be a good day. 
Oh, I got one. I sure enough got one. I sure enough got one. Oh, I lost him. I had one for about two minutes. Man, it's hard to do the camera and hold on to these bad boys. I think he cut me off. Probably a bull shark. That 40 pound wire, that'll usually hold a black tip, but not a bull shark. All right, now the long pull. All the way up there. Pop park plus. everybody so this is the next day and we are gonna cook the king mackerel I just caught yesterday which you'll probably be seeing in this video same sequence take it away Samantha okay guys so we are gonna make king mackerel patty yay! yay and they're gonna be sweet and spicy chili uh, king mackerel patty so they'll have a little Asian flair to zest. it yeah and some zest jalapenos from the garden chives or green onions are from the garden and the bell peppers from the garden so we're combining some of our garden ingredients to do this so while samantha's cutting the onions and the bell pepper and the jalapeno and all that good stuff i'm going to start cutting up the meat so the goal of this is i'm going to Cut this stuff up real fine, like real fine, like really small. That's Samantha, that was Samantha's words. And uh, I'm just gonna make it. Well, actually, can let's weigh out the right amount. Hold on. Now she wants to weigh it out. So, I got this handy dandy kitchen scale for Christmas from my little brother Greg. Uh, last year, or the year before last year, I think. That was the last time I was home for Christmas. We're going back this year. Um, so, I try to use it when I can. It's perfect time to use your little scale. Make sure you use the right amount of meat. So that is... Alright, so it's just under a pound of meat. About 15.1 ounces, so almost a pound. Um, so that's what we're going to use. We measured out the king mackerel. I was shooting for around 10 ounces, but Jack had cleaned almost a pound, 15.1 ounces. So we're just gonna increase the other ingredients just a little bit. I eyeball things anyways. I just thought it'd be fun to use a little fancy scale. So 15 ounces about of mackerel. Jack cut the fish, chopped up the veggies, jalapeno, bell pepper, uh, green onions, lime zest, panko egg, and sweet Thai chili sauce and a little soy sauce. So I'm gonna mix it up really quick. And then we'll get to pressing. Might need a little more liquid. Just a eyeball it. What was that you just put in there? Uh, soy sauce and then some more uh, sweet chili uh, sauce, sweet chili Thai sauce. Yeah. You want big patties? Well, I like big patties. Let's we'll see, see how this goes. Looks that pretty. Looks good. I'm eating all of that. Maybe five. All that green in there. Green from the garden. It's like Sammy Croquette back in the day when my mom would cook them. Yeah, very similar thing. This will be a good meal. And then as a side, Jack and I picked green beans from the garden. So we're going to have green beans. Ooh, woo. A lot of garden food that we're cooking tonight. All from our little raised bed gardens in the back. There we go. That was a good one. Ready to flip it, Jack? Yep. Let's flip one. Oh man, we should have burned the Clemson Paul into them. That, that would have been, been funny. <laughs> Let's see what you got. Much better. Bring them over the. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Okay. 
these two are golden darkness of joy, and these two are not quite as golden darkness of joy, but I'm real sure that is just caramelization. Caramelized one. Caramelization the one. I don't know what makes it so good. You can taste the jalapeno, the bell pepper, and the green onions. Amazing. So good. Jack, taste it. I got my non caramelization one. So, how many of those can I catch to get these like all the time? I need how many king mackerel this year? I mean, one a week because we still have extra king mackerel. So, that was only 11. Half a king mackerel right there. There's going to be a depletization if that's a word of king mackerel because this is good. Isn't it good? Yeah. All right guys, so that is by and large one of the best king mackerel I've ever eaten. It has made king mackerel to the next level. Compliments of Samantha. Yeah. Like no more fried king mackerel nuggets. No more like people complaining about king mackerel because that is good. That is real good. That is the epitome of fish cookeries. And uh, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Subscribe, guys. Comment down below if you've ever tried this. Mackerel nuggets, is that what we're calling it? No, mackerel. No, they're mackerel cakes. Mackerel cakes. Or like mackerel, mackerel patties. Cakes. Patties. You know, salmon like cream. salmon croquettes. Well. And we got green beans over here we're fixing to crunch down on too. Mm -hmm. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. All right. Let's see what you got. I think they're ready. Oh yeah, it's kind of a little toasted. Ooh. Samantha. Bum, bum, bum. Turn it down a little bit. All right, make it up on this one. That's okay. Well, Chris, Samantha. Gonna give it some texture. I'll still eat it. Hey, we have two more over here to get golden brown, and then Jack can edit this out, and you'll only see the pretty ones. Hey, this is real life cooking. What can I say?